Okay, hey collective, so this is going to be a collective reading, but before I start, I want to say collective, like, somebody treats, like, good girls or good guys like crap, and then they chase karmic. This could be something that happened to you, but whoever this person is, this person, like, didn't deserve you, that's what I'm getting. Like the universe, wow, this person could have chose somebody else over you here as well. But like the universe was trying to show you that this person was not your person or this person was not meant for you or something like that. Like you had something better coming in for you. Yeah, I'm telling you, you have a blessing from the universe coming in for you. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, you're also about to be very abundant here as well. But I'm getting like somebody left you out in the cold because they felt like you were too good or too nice or something like that. Somebody felt like you were too nice. Yep. Wow. Now, it's a lot. Of, wow. It's about to be a lot of competition in regards to you because you are this empress. So somebody left you out in the cold and now you are about to receive offers, but you are about to receive a lot of offers here. Like a lot of people want to deal with you or link up with you. And it's in regards to your energy. So you were dealing with somebody in the past that did not see your light. Maybe this person was like chasing a karmic or this person chose a karmic over you. That's what I'm getting here because this person didn't know that you were an empress. That's what I'm getting here or wow. Somebody likes to deal with, there is a karmic that was like talking to somebody crazy. That's why this person, like this person, this person was chasing a karmic that was doing them wrong. That's what I'm getting here. And this person then left the empress out in the cold. And now like you have options. That's what I'm getting here. What's going on here? Somebody, wow, somebody is going to be in regret. Like, that's what I'm getting here. Yep. See, somebody didn't know that you were an empress. This person did not know that you were an empress. I'm telling you. I'm also getting you going through a glow up here as well. And now somebody feels like they have competition or something like that. This person left you out in the cold when they didn't know that you were an empress. And I'm really getting this because, like, you're too nice. Like this person wants you to like talk to them crazy or this person wants you to like, you're not doing that. That's what I'm getting. Like whatever this is, you could be dealing with some. Wow. I'm getting somebody likes to like spend money on females that like talk to them crazy. I'm telling you, like somebody feels like you are too nice. So this person has never met anybody like you. You are an empath. That's what I'm getting here. I'm hearing the good girl or the good guy. Like this person is used to dealing with people that like. This person has some healing that they need to do. Because this person chases karmics. And the karmics that this person was chasing were like. I'm here straight up disrespectful to this person. Talk crazy to this person. And this person will go out and like trick on these karmics. I'm telling you. That's what I'm getting here. Like, this person got a thrill out of this. Like, this person like doing this. That's what I'm getting here. What's going on here? And somebody left you out. Yeah, this king of wands. I knew it. I knew it. And this person left you out in the cold because this person felt like you were too nice. But you are this empress. These karmics that this individual was chasing, these were not empresses. But this person was, like, spending a ton of money on these karmics or something like that, like, Tricking on these karmics. That's what I'm getting here. I'm getting like, you are you are a very caring, compassionate, and gentle person. Now, don't get me wrong. You speak up for yourself, but you don't run around talking to people crazy. You know that you don't have to talk to people crazy or belittle people or like, that's just something that you would not do. That's just something that you do not do. I'm getting like, you are big on communication. You feel like two people should be able to sit down and have a conversation. You are big on respect. I'm getting, you know, your worth, your morals, your values. That's what I'm getting like. And somebody, somebody else doesn't know their worth. So somebody that has a crush on you, let you out in the cold because they felt like you were too nice. I could be speaking to a male or a female, and this person was chasing karmics 
that was like doing them dirty. I'm telling you. Yep. Look here. Wow, yeah. This person left you out in the cold. Could have had an opportunity to build with an empress. But instead, this person wanted to trick off on karmics. That's what I'm getting. Wow, superficial. Like, this person was, like, chasing superficial karmics or something like that. I'm telling you. And these karmics would, like, talk to this person bad. And then this person would want to, like, give to these karmics even more. I'm telling you. This is somebody that does not know their worth or did not know their worth in the past. That's what I'm getting. This person needs to do the healing work here. It's something going on within this person to where this person feels like this is okay. This could be somebody that like felt like they weren't enough in the past. I'm getting something in regards to like a sense of belonging. Like this person wanted to feel like accepted by these karmics. It could be like the way that these karmics look or something like these karmics. Whoever this person was chasing was superficial. But this person felt like if they were dealing with like, wow, well, I'm hearing Instagram models or something like that. That's not going to be for everyone. You know, a pot of roses, they fit. But this person felt like if they were dealing with these type of individuals, it would boost them being accepted or something like that, that's not going to be for everyone. But these people would like, just wow. One of these karmics that this person was dealing with or chasing tried to humiliate this individual here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. What's going on here? Or maybe, yeah. I'm getting like, this is somebody you saw as somebody that you could have a connection with, but this person was too busy chasing karmics. And now you are guarded to this person. This person is a player. Whoever this individual is, this person is a player. This is somebody that's a good guy. This could be somebody that has money here or something like that. Somebody that's financially stable. And this person chases karmics. But this person met you and somebody feels like you are too nice or something like that. I'm telling you. But this could be somebody that's like a good person here. Like this person needs to see their worth. This person deserves way more than what it is they're willing to accept out of these karmics that they're chasing. I'm telling you. What's going on here? Yep, look, this person was juggling here. That's what I'm getting. What's going on here? Or you are not allowing this person to juggle you. So if this person is going to chase behind karmics that disrespect them, talk to them crazy, only want them for their money, only want them for status or clout or their wand or whatever this is, like you're not, you're done. That's what I'm, you're not about to like entertain this. That's what I'm getting here. You let this person with their options here. And now you have options. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, what did I just say? I just said this. You left this person with their options. You're moving forward. You have options. Somebody did not know that you were an empress. This person did not know you were an empress because you are caring. You are compassionate. I'm getting like you are somebody like you try to help this person. You encourage this person to grow. You could be spiritual here as well. That's what I'm getting. And somebody feels like you are too nice. That's what I'm getting. Somebody is not attracted to you because you are too nice or something like that. Wow. I'm getting like you are moving on. That's what I'm getting. Like you are not about to allow this person to joke you. You know that if this person is holding on to these options, this person is going to end up betraying you. If this person does not do the healing work, this person is going to end up betraying you here. That's what I'm getting. This person has some like, I'm hearing some scarring. This person like has a strong need to feel accepted. And somebody feels like being accepted is like, wow, money status, like, 
material things, even down to the people that they date. This person chases karmics. It's nothing but like surface level. Like it's nothing deep or meaningful in regards to the karmics that this person chases. This person is not about these karmics here. This person was chasing an image. This per It was never about these karmics. That's what I'm getting here. But this person was so desperate to be accepted that this person would allow these karmics to like do them dirty. Somebody was like tricking on karmics or something like that. But it's something deeper that this person needs to heal. That's what I'm getting. It's a need. This person has a need to feel like they belong. That's what I'm getting here. This person needs to go within and do the healing work because somebody is like running. Somebody is running from doing the shadow work here. And this person keeps running into karmic cycle at the karmic cycle at the karmic cycle. That's what I'm getting here. What did I just say? This person, wow. So whoever this individual is, this person was like this, like, this person could have been a player for a long time here. I'm here in early 20s. This person has been like... That's all this person knows. That's all this person knows here. Wow. When this person didn't have money here, this person felt rejected. That's what I'm getting here. So when this person got money and then had all of these women fighting or men fighting over them... This person was like, just out here like, wow. This person took full advantage of that. That's what I'm getting here. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's, yeah, what did I just say? I just said that when this person leveled up, when this person leveled up, this person was out here like, this could be a masculine energy or a feminine energy here. But this person was out here like indulging in these options. That's what I'm getting. This person could have turned cold. Wow. Towards anybody that treated them with respect. Towards anybody that treated them right. This person was chasing people that like treated them like shit. I'm telling you. This person could have been out here treating people horribly as well. Anybody that meant them well, but if it was a karmic that would talk to them crazy, they respected that. But if you came in being compassionate, understanding, they saw that as weakness. Wow, this person, that's what it is. This person could have been badgered in their childhood by a parental figure or somebody for being like soft. But this person is an empath. This is an empath that has been. This is an empath that has went cold. Or well, I'm also hearing dark. But this person went cold here. When this person was broke. All this person thought about was having money. That's what I'm getting. And now that this person has money. This person has options, but these options treat this person like shit. And then here you come. You are an empath. Wow, this person could resent you for that. Because this person was told being an empath was a sign of weakness. So this person looks at you and they see everything that they were told was weak about them when they were a child here. So this person betrayed you or left you out in the cold because you reminded them of when they did not have whatever abundance this is that this person has. You remind them of that. This person resents you for that. That's what I'm getting here because they feel like being an empath is weak. I'm telling you, this could be somebody that like Somebody that uses their money to like try to dominate other people or they use their money. This person uses their money for clout or something like that here. And this person is not a bad person. I'm not getting this to somebody that's a bad person. This is somebody that wants to be accepted here. 
Somebody wants to be accepted. But this person needs to realize that acceptance comes from within, not outside of you. Material possessions, all of that. None of that stuff means anything. Like when you are at peace with yourself, when you are at one with yourself, you will realize how none of that stuff, none of that stuff has any bearing on who you are as a person. All the money, the material possession, the women, the men, having all of that, it does not matter. If you are not grounded in who you are, if you do not know yourself, you will always be lost out here. You have to find peace within. You have to go within and do the shadow work. The stuff that you are running from, the stuff that you are suppressing here. Somebody bases their worth off of what they have. That's what I'm getting. Somebody is so worried about like being seen in high honor by society. Who the fuck cares? Who cares what society thinks? This could be somebody that like wants to have the nicest car, the nicest clothes, everything is name brand, all of that. Instead of being grateful and appreciating what they have, this person gets things just to be seen in high honor by other people around them. Somebody was also playing house with a karmic here and got betrayed here as well. What's going on here? Yeah, what did I say? I'm telling you, all this person... Wow. And if you don't have as much money, this person will talk shit on you. This person will call you broke, all kind of stuff. This person, if you are not in a finance, like this person, I'm telling you, this person bases other people's value off of how much money they have. That's what I'm getting here. And like, if you don't have a certain thing or if you're not like as financially stable as this person is, this person will try to insult you. This person will call you broke. All of that. This is somebody that's very like closed minded or something like that here. This is somebody that's very materialistic here as well. Yeah, like, wow. This could be somebody that like judges you based off of your, uh, your position in society. And in regards to like your job or how much money you make or something like that here. Like this person judges you based off of that. And it's while wow, this person left you out in the cold because somebody felt like you were broke or like you didn't make enough money for them or something like that to like be dealing with them or somebody is extremely superficial or something like that here. Wow, this could also be for some, this is a masculine energy that's a trick here. That's what I'm getting. And for some, this is a feminine energy that only deals with tricks. That's what I'm getting. If you're not spending money on them, they're not dealing with you. Period. This person does not. I'm getting like everything is surface level with this person. Everything is surface level with this person. This person doesn't even have any depth to them. I hope this is not somebody that you are chasing here, collective. Yep, didn't I just say this person judges you based off of how much money you have, what you do for work, what you can do for them. That's what I'm getting here. And then like when you level up, wow, a repetitive cycle. Because then when you level up, this person wants to deal with you. Then this person is chasing you. Once you level up and you have a certain amount of money, this person will start chasing you or giving you play. So it's like a never ending cycle. You have men out here, you know, a plot of roses, they fit men or women, but you have men out here chasing this idea or notion of like having all this money will make all these women want to be with you. And then you have women out here that are chasing the men that are chasing his money. And it's like a cycle. It's like a continuous cycle or something like that. Or maybe this is uh, something that's happening to somebody that's interested in you. Like this person is stuck in this karmic cycle of chasing money and chasing women that are chasing them for the money that they are chasing. It's like, yeah, it's tower moment. Somebody is having a tower moment realizing it. Somebody is tired of this. Somebody is tired of living like this or dealing with this or entertaining whatever this is. Yep. Then they leave good girls or good guys out in the cold. Then they complain and say there's no option. That's what I'm getting. 
They can play and say they can't meet anybody. You know why you can't meet anybody? Because of the people that you are chasing. You are stuck in a karmic cycle chasing karmic individuals here. Surface level people. And trying to build deep connections with somebody that is surface level. And then it always, wow. Then like the good girl or good guy, the one that they always push to the side. The one that they don't give any time or attention to. They then realize that that is an emperor or an empress. But this person left you out in the cold because they felt like you were too nice or something like that. Or like because the good girl, good guy is not afraid to be their true authentic self. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could be like, wow. Somebody is spiritual. Somebody is different. Somebody is looked at as like weird or something like that here. This person is not weird. This person that was left out in the cold is somebody that's like, this person is not chasing this. That's what I'm getting. Whoever this individual is that was left out in the cold. Wow. I'm hearing like nerdy or geeky. Somebody feels like another person is nerdy or geeky or something like that here. Maybe this could be something that you dealt with here in the past. People pushing you to the side or like not taking you serious because people felt like you were like, well, I'm hearing an outcast. Could have been an outcast here. But you accepted that about yourself. You embraced that about yourself. And you could be dealing with somebody who was once also an outcast in their youth. But this person came into money. And when this person came into money, this person lost it and started chasing karmics, superficial karmics. I'm telling you. Yep. That's the truth. Wow. And you're intuitive and you know something about, you know something about, uh, Somebody got betrayed by a karmic here. And you know about this. This person has a karmic that they are chasing. A superficial surface level karmic that they are chasing. That's like upset because you know that this karmic is like betrayed this person or did some here. Something in regards to like a baby trap or something or like that's not going to be for everyone. This karmic is just like childish or low vibrational or like an empress in reverse or like yeah narcissist and you spoke on something this karmic is like mad at you because of that this karmic is mad because like they got called out for being a karmic or they found out that they are a karmic whatever they ain't got nothing to do with you wow This person left you out in the cold for a karmic. <laughs> That's crazy. This person left an empress out in the cold for a karmic. And this karmic is mad at you because this karmic got called out for being a karmic. I'm telling you. You are going to build an empire with a high level soulmate. Whoever this individual is, let this person be. Let this person figure this out. This person may continuously go into karmic relationship at the karmic relationship because this person has something deeper that they need to heal. You need to move forward because you have new opportunities. You have better opportunities coming in for you. But you have to stop dealing with this person because this person is chasing a karmic here. Yeah. I didn't even see that back there. Yeah, this person is chasing a karmic. Why wow, this person is going to be hurt once they realize that, damn, they didn't left the empress out in the cold. They didn't chose a karmic over an empress. Let the empress out in the cold. I'm telling you, somebody is going to be heartbroken. Somebody's going to be hurt when they realize the truth in regards to this. Because somebody is chasing a superficial karmic that always talks about like this person is like, a narcissist. Yep, didn't I just say somebody is going to be hurt once they realize that they left the empress out in the cold. This person is going to try to rush in as well. This person may try to rush in down the line or 
This person knows you don't want anything to do with them. And it's because this person hooked up with a karmic. This person could have hooked up with a karmic that felt like they were better than you. And whoever this karmic is, this could be somebody that's like close to you or something like that. So like, you're, wow. I got this energy in the channel message. I've been picking this energy up. This person could have hooked up with a karmic that's like somebody that's close to you. This could be a friend. And this person chose this karmic over you and it's because like this karmic talks to this person crazy or something like that and you won't do that this karmic like demeans this person dominates this karmic likes to dominate this person and you refuse to do that so somebody looks at you as weak and whoever this karmic is that this person chose over you this person is mad at you or something like that yeah anything else and then i'm gonna get you some advice to end it What did I just say? Now, like, you're moving forward, but somebody is going to try to rush in towards you here. This person sees you as very confident, very grounded here. That's what I'm getting. But this person could have, this person could have got betrayed by a fire sign. So this person rushed into a connection with a fire sign and got betrayed. And now somebody is sitting looking silly. Didn't I just say somebody got betrayed here? Somebody is sitting looking silly. I'm telling you. And, like, you're not dealing with this person. Like, whatever. You already knew this as well. You knew this was going to happen. Like, maybe you tried to tell this person. This person is realizing that they got the same karmic. The same karmic that they were dealing with in the past. The same karmic that they complained about in the past. That they were betrayed by in the past. This person is stuck in a karmic loop. Because this person just rushed into another karmic cycle with another karmic here. And now this person is about to get betrayed again. Yeah, you are this high priestess here. You already knew that this was going to happen. You saw it before it even happened. Somebody left you out in the cold or didn't listen to you or just dismissed what you said. And this person had rushed right into a karmic cycle with another karmic. And you let this go. I'm getting like you could care less. Yep. Somebody is rushing in to make a love offer to another person here. This person is like about to make a love offer to a karmic. What did I say? Cycles. What did I say? Cycles. Somebody is constantly giving to karmics and getting their heart broken and then crying about it. Then they go and give to another karmic, get their heart broken and cry about it. Look here, I'm telling you. At some point in time, this person is going to have to take their power back. But if this is somebody that you are waiting on, chasing, or interested in, please do not do yourself a disservice and wait for this person. Please do not do that. This person is going to have to lose you and watch you move on with somebody else. And then this person is going to constantly think about how you are the one that got away. How they could have built an empire with a true empress, but this person chased a fake empress. Somebody that's like, cold and detached and mean and like talks to them crazy belittles them disrespects them but because you are an empath you could have tried to help this person heal or grow you could be spiritual here you understand what this person was going through because you are able to empathize with this person you understand why this person was doing certain things or stuck in these karmic cycles and you tried to tell this person this person felt like you were like too soft or like too nice or something like that here you were trying to help somebody this person didn't appreciate that or didn't appreciate something that you were trying to do but like like i said before in previous readings everybody is not your assignment this person will figure it out and by the time this person figures it out you will be long gone here moved on with somebody else in a, a happy situation a happy relationship here and this person is going to continue to think about how you are the one that got away you are their happiness and they left you out in the cold. That's what I'm getting. And this person is going to keep watching you as well. And I'm getting because you were trying to help this person see this. Or see that they needed to do some shadow work or healing. This person resented you for that. Because this person did not want. This person was stuck in a karmic cycle. And this person did not want to address what was going on. Or what they like this toxic karmic pattern here. This person didn't want to address it. So the more you try to help this person see, 
the more resentful this person got. That's when I, and the more angry this person became at you. That's why this person left you out in the cold here. They didn't want to listen. They didn't want to hear it. That's what I'm getting. They wanted to stay stuck in this low vibrational energy. Yeah, we have practice formless thought. We have released that which no longer serves you and surrendered the idea of a specific outcome. Didn't I just tell you? I just said that. You're going to have to release this situation here. You can have a lot of love for this person, but you have to take your hands off of it. Yeah, we have February here. Yeah, we have be still even when in motion. Yeah, I'm getting like, you have to allow things to play out how they play out here. And all you can do is move on with your life here. And do not allow this person to rush in and mess up. If you down the line, you meet somebody new here, this person may try to rush in towards you because they see you moving on and going into a connection with somebody new. Do not sabotage a connection with a high level soulmate because somebody is only seeing your worth. Because this person knows that you are about to meet somebody new. And I'm getting whoever this individual is. Like I said, this person could have did this in the past. Like this is what something that this person did in the past. Like this person could have. Wow. This person met you. And this person was like doing a healing work but this person ran but the way this person ran is when this person met you and like you were encouraging this person to heal and grow somebody that this person was connected to rushed in to hook up with this person before this person could hook up with you that's what i'm getting here and whoever this person went to a connection with this is a karmic but this is somebody who like could be somebody that you know for some, this could be somebody that's in your family here that this person then, wow, I'm here and slept with. That's crazy. You can have somebody that's close to you that only slept with this person because they know that this person wanted you. Yep. But once this person realizes that you were their match all along, or you were their empress all alone. This person is going to try to rush in towards you here. Once you go into a connection with a high level soulmate. Don't sabotage that connection with that high level soulmate. Because this person is because this person is like trying to hold on to your energy. So if this person rushes in and tries to connect with you. Once they see you moving on. And like you sabotage your connection with a high level soulmate. This person could still be in that karmic energy. And is still going to do the same thing that they did before. And then you're going to been then had missed out on a connection with a high level soulmate. Because you allowed this person to get back in your energy and like love bomb you. Don't do that. This person missed out on their opportunity with you. Let this person miss you. Let this person realize that they missed out on an opportunity with you. Somebody's also getting scared. This person is real nervous here. Because this person is now realizing you are about to meet somebody new. And while they were playing... This person missed out on a connection with you. Chasing karmics. And you are about to go through a glow up here. You are going from, wow. Somebody looked at you as like geeky back in the day. But you are about to level up. I'm telling you. Somebody felt like you were shy. Quiet. Nerdy or something like that here. And this person is about to start chasing you because somebody is about to realize that you have options here. Don't sabotage your connection with a high level soulmate to allow this person into your energy. Yeah, we have weeks here. This person could still be in some karmic energy here. Wow, we have Thursday here. We have set healthy boundaries. Like I said, you have to set boundaries. You are going to have to set boundaries with this person. Because when you meet somebody new, this person is going to rush in and then want to give you a wow. Give you some play. But they're trying to sabotage something that you are like 
some that you manifested a connection with a high level soulmate that's crazy this is something that this person also went through in the past i'm telling you like somebody met you but somebody rushed in and like hooked up with this person before this person could hook up with you and somebody felt like they were better than you or something like that here somebody felt like they were better than you and this person had rushed into a karmic situation a karmic cycle slept with this person because they didn't want this person with you and now you are not going to deal with this person you want nothing to do with this person now this person is looking like damn <laughs> yeah you got played somebody didn't got played here yeah we have june here somebody's also scared of the fact that you are intuitive because certain things that you know is no way you should know it somebody is realizing that you are intuitive whoever this is that's realizing that you are intuitive here this person is going through a reality check because in the past this person didn't think that you were intuitive or somebody didn't think that you were skilled and you know things that you should not know or you know about conversations that you should not know about or you're picking up on this person's energy like you know things that like you know things you shouldn't know Yeah, we have April here. We have challenge yourself to discover something new about yourself in the world around you every day. And we have you are a powerful manifesting co-creator. Please move forward here. You have so much uh, more coming in for you. So many blessings coming in for you. Do not put your life on hold chasing the karmic. Go out here, network, connect with other people as well. And you are going to meet a high level soulmate here. Yeah, use creative visualization. Definitely when you manifest, know what you want, know what you are asking the universe for, because whatever you are asking for, you are going to receive here. I posted that on my story. Make sure you are mindful in regards to your thoughts here as well. Definitely with this practice formless thought. You know that this is not something that you want in your inner. This is chaos and drama here. Even if you were to deal with this person, this person is not healed at this moment. So it would be a bunch of drama, a bunch of chaos, and something would be karmic here. And whoever this person is, this person would like fight you every step of the way because this person is holding on to some karmic behavior or some karmic energy. This reading went on way longer than I wanted, but I'm going to get you some cards from this Divine Feminine Oracle. So we have the Princess of Mercy. Giving is receiving. The energy of the universe is merciful. I'm telling you, be mindful in regards to like your thoughts here because whatever it is that you are open, open yourself up to receive new things. But just be mindful in regards to what you are asking for here. That's what I'm getting. You are wanting to connect with a high level soulmate. You met somebody that you have a lot of love for, but I'm telling you, whoever this person is, this person is stuck in a karmic loop. That's what I'm getting here. I'm also being drawn to this white tiger here. Like somebody had a, a shirt with a white tiger. Like this could have been your favorite shirt back when you were a child. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting like, be mindful. Whatever it is that you're one that's coming in for you here, but you got to know your worth. You got to know your worth. You got to, whenever you see these karmic cycles coming in, because when you do the healing work and when you do the shadow work, you are going to start seeing things like this a mile away. That's what I'm getting. And you won't even allow this into your energy. When you do that healing work and that shadow work, you will not allow certain people or certain things into your energy. You want no parts of this. I'm telling you right now. Let these two be and you move on with your life here. I'm also getting something in regards to like affirmations, doing daily affirmations. I'm also getting like speak life into yourself here as well and know your worth, know what you deserve. Yeah, we have the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Yeah, you need to have discernment here. Like you have a lot of love for somebody, but this person is in some low vibrational energy. And whoever this person left you out in the cold for to go deal with, this person is also in some like low vibrational energy. 
So that was like the universe's way of protecting you because this person does not deserve access to you. That's what I'm getting. Like you need, you have to know your worth here and you deserve way more than whatever this is. It's not your job to fix somebody else as well. Yeah, we have the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. I'm getting like, you have a very healing energy about you here. You can also have locks here as well. Wow. I'm getting somebody's locks could be to like, I'm getting like to like their lower back or something like that here. You have some very long locks. You have a very healing energy about you though. And this person knows that that's why somebody wants to be in your energy here. That's what I'm getting because like you are a healer. You are a healer, but somebody took you for granted here. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm hearing Yemaya and Oya. I'm also getting somebody's name could be Oya. Somebody didn't even know who you were. <laughs> somebody didn't even know who you were here. You came to this person open. Like you open yourself up to this person to connect with this person. And this person didn't even know that they had a true divine being in front of them. And this person treated you like crap, threw you to the side and ran off and connected with a karmic or something like that. When the universe put a blessing in front of this person. That's crazy. Yep. The mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Yeah, I'm getting like whoever you are, you are definitely spiritually high ranking. You are a light worker. You were put here to help this person. While well, I'm also hearing like free this person's mind from this karmic cycle, this bondage. This is bondage here. When you continuously chase material possessions, material things, surface level things, you mentally enslave yourself. You could also be somebody that's very abundant, but you understand this. So you are mindful. You are not out there chasing money. You are not out there chasing power. You are not out there chasing material things. You know what is meant for you is meant for you. You attract. That's what I'm getting. And you are attracting a connection with a divine counterpart here. After whoever this is took you for granted chasing the karmic here. I'm also getting for some, this person could have left you out in the cold when they thought you were broke. And then you leveled up here as well. Yep. Somebody left you out in the cold when they thought you were broken. You leveled up, but you already knew what was meant for you. So you didn't have to chase anything. That's what I'm getting here. Like I said, you attract. Yeah, but I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.